I picked up this shark accessory kit from Amazon. It was 24 quid and then it was reduced to 19 pound and then it went back up to 30 pound. Here's your box guys. And this is what comes in the box as a car cleaning kit. You've got a skewy little pipe, another pipe. I don't know what that is at all. There's no instructions with the kit at all. Uh, that's a small brush and that's a bigger brush. And this is the shaped piece which does down on edges of things. And this is the attachment which attaches to your vacuum. And then these bits just slide in like this. And then you can put whatever piece on the end. As the kit shows on Amazon, this wasn't originally a plastic black pipe. It was a horrible looking, basically hose pipe from the garden. This will give you some idea of how small this stuff is. And in Amazon, in the photo, they show this is the same size as this. But as you can see, there's no comparison. This is for a car, but I just said it's for a model car. When it turns up, it turns up in a box. And that's how it comes. Just show you how to connect it to the vacuum. It's connected in like that. And that's it. Well, that's an overview of your car cleaning kit. Anyway, we'll pop outside and have a look and do a bit of a test. Now, first thing, we'll start off with doing the air vents and we'll use the crevice cleaner first. As you can see, I'm using a proper detailing brush because I feel as though the small brushes aren't up to it. I thought I'd try it this way first. It doesn't seem to have that much suck on it. As plastic tends to have a static, it's having a job to even get the bits off the plastic. Now I'm using the smaller brush. This is more like a camera brush. And now we're gonna be using the bigger brush, which this seems to look as though it should be able to do the job better. I've got the same type of tools from my camera. And I don't need a vacuum with that. You just blow it away. Now, as I'm moving around the car, I'm finding it very difficult for the vacuum to actually pick up any of the bits. Because the bits are sticking to the plastic, just static wise. So it's, it's, it's got not very much suck on it at all. And I'm finding the brushes are just moving the dust about. Even on all the little controls and things in the car, it's really having a job to move anything. Now on the seats, once again, these are Arcatara seats. So I'm really having a go at trying to move the stuff, but I'm not actually getting anything up at all. All I'm just is moving around. It wouldn't even take a hair out the seat because the vacuum just doesn't have the set. Now this is a sort of a door well area I am now, and it's really having a job to get anything out of it. It is, don't get me wrong, it is moving a little bit, but it is a, a very big struggle. Once again, we'll get in there. And realistically, this tool should be able to get out the bits and pieces down the side of the door easy and it's really struggling that crevice cleaner i mean you need the big one in there this thing is just too small but you you're having a job to get the bits up don't get me wrong they do get some of the bits up but if you get anything too big it will just stick to the carpet well guys that was inside the car what is my thoughts on this this will make a really good cleaning kit for your car because you need the big tools realistically there should be a pipe from here to here so we can use the big tools. We don't want to use the small tools because what's the point? What's the point of having a battery operated tool that you can take anywhere, outside, in your caravan, in your car, anywhere, but you, you can't clean it. It's all right in a caravan in a massive girt truck, fine, because you can use all the big tools and you'll be able to use the extension and everything. Now with a small vehicle, this is absolutely useless really, because you, when it's stuck together, 
like that, this just hits the inside of the car. So you do have a struggle. So going back to the small kit, if you've bought one of these and you're not happy, just send it back to Amazon or eBay. What should have been in that box should have been the same as what was in that photo. This was very misleading from the point of shark. But let's be fair, there's the tools itself is really good quality. I'm not going to go away from the fact is it's good quality plastic. I dare to say you could do a better job with a proper vacuum cleaner. If so, what I would recommend guys, if you're going to do your car, don't bother with this. You're wasting your time. This is good for your computers, but once again, it's limited because it just doesn't have the suck you need. In fact, you'll probably suck it up with a straw faster than this. So please subscribe and please share, and we'll see you again very shortly. Laters!